Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the free to play 2023 account. So I will go over the account and what we made progress with in a sec, but first I wanted to go over the discord and some other stuff. So first things with the discord, I wanted to thank you guys all for joining it and staying active in there as much as you guys can and helping each other out. Um, I haven't been, or I've been busy the past couple of days, so I haven't really been able to you know go into the discord and um as much as i want to so i plan on doing that a little bit more uh so that is one thing the next thing i wanted to talk to you guys about was some individual help now we have the fixer up series going on of course so if you guys want i recommend checking out a lot of those videos and seeing how we ruin the monsters and how to um just do certain things because I unfortunately can't get to every single one of you as much as I would like to. It's just, you know, I'm really busy with uh, other stuff. And then I'm doing a YouTube video a day plus streaming. So it's it's been tough for me to just keep up with everything. So make sure if you guys need any help to ask each other out in the Discord. And they will, you know, a lot of people there will help you out. So that's that. Um, the third thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was which might be the most important, but it is going to be a series idea. So I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I'm thinking once the giveaway account's done on March 7th, we start up a new series, which is going to be a, a non-mystical scroll op uh, challenge, which means I'm not going to open a single mystical, light, dark, legendary, or exclusive summon and just try to play through Summoner's War with, you know, unknown scrolls and secret dungeons. And then we'll have a big summon session like at the end of the series once we have completed everything I feel like we should have. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. If not, if you guys don't like it, I won't do it. But if you guys do like it and have, uh, like that idea, then let me know and, uh, make some rules up for me, whether that be, uh, you can use one four star from the free to uh, the summoner's way pick your own four star event or if you want me to not use fusions let me know because uh, fusions are you know able to get through uh, unknown scrolls but or and secret dungeons but if you guys don't want me to use that then let me know that's just an idea i had in mind just because the light dark and the free to play series we started at the same time and they kind of are at the same point where we're just farming a bunch of runes. So that is what I would plan on doing for the future. Uh, if not, we'll just wait on that for another day and another time and we will try it then. But that is just an idea I had. So let's get on to the video now. All the boring stuff out of the way. Um, we have got... Zhongfei six starred and runed up. He's on 2300 defense plus 14,000 HP, good resistance, okay accuracy, and okay speed. So we're pretty, um, pretty content with where he's at right now. And I'll show the R5 team right now as well. Oh, we're in Giants. Let's cancel this run. I kind of have to just wait until it runs because I don't want to waste energy. We're only at 174 crystals, but we're at 23 million mana. That means we've just been farming a bunch of giants, like I said, and we've been farming a little drag or a necro. Um, we got some okay runes. Let's go ahead and search. This is how I see how good of swift runes we have. We just check by speed. So we got 17 there, 16 there. Um, you know, 16s, 15s, 14s, this is nothing. This could be sold. A lot of these can be sold. I have to go over and sell a bunch of these runes. Maybe I'll make a video separately for that. Uh, 16s, 21s, but that's enchanted. 16, 17, 17, 16. So we got some okay runes. We don't have any, like, high 20 runes, I don't think. I think I just pulled one, actually. No resistance. Yeah, I hit this triple speed roll. Unfortunately, it's on a resistance run, uh, rune, but we'll go ahead and keep it for now. Because we can grind that to 27 speed, and then it's our best speed rune. So that's the reason we're keeping that. Um, we do have a couple scrolls to open. I beat Dimensional Predator and did all the challenges for that. So we have an all attribute legendary, a light dark, a couple elementals, and a couple mysticals. We also are thinking of going for the fire magic knight for the rotation instead of Iunu the wind anubis 
uh, depends on which comes first we'll summon for and then we'll try to save the rest of the stones for the other one the reason i want the fire magic knight now is our necro team or isn't reliable uh i'll show that really quick and then i'll show the r5 team so this is the necro team and it's just unreliable right now it's about an 80 percent if i were to guesstimate uh of success rate but anyways let's go ahead and check r5 she's going to be great in the necro though the fire magic knight with trikaru minus verd plus her so this is the team that we plan on using for R5. Uh, we are 50% awakening for Bella. We need to change her runes too to Swift. And Konamiya is going to be on Swift as well. He's going to be our fastest unit. So what's going to happen is Konamiya moves first, cleanses everything off. Then it's going to be probably Bella with the defense break. And then attack buff from Riley. And then big damage from our uh, two damage dealers. And then Zhang Fei will just cleanse whatever else. And then debuffs like crazy so that's how the team's gonna work and we just need a six star konamiya for that we can start resume giants i think i have a couple let's see how many we have to craft really quick we can craft a bunch of swift runes right now you guys can see what kind of runes i keep and what kind we sell that could be good those two on the bottom can be good this could be really good this is so this could be okay and then the rest are going to be cells. One crit damage, one crit rate. It's not terrible. If it goes double speed here, that's actually a pretty good damage dealer rune. Even if it goes one crit rate, one speed. We get slow rolls in speed and accuracy. I'm not even wanting to keep it. If it was HP percent, maybe, or defense percent. But attack percent, you don't really want. Unless it's for like cocky or something. So it went a medium roll here. Or if no, it went min roll, I think it I think it was. We'll see what it powers up in the last. We can still get 20 crit damage, 16 crit rate, or 15 speed. If it rolls flat HP, I'm probably gonna sell it though. Just because the rolls were so bad. Oh, I gotta plug that in. So we did get plus 15 speed, or yeah, 15 speed. So that's not terrible. We'll keep that for now. Craft some more. That top one could be good right here. That actually is pretty good if it rolls speed or HP. Two speed, one HP, and it's good. Uh, I really don't want to keep that, but I will. And this could be a damage dealer rune. One min roll into speed and one flat HP. Still can go 16 speed, but I'm not really excited about it. This one at crit rate. Go crit rate, triple crit rate would be nice. Okay. We'll plus nine it. This I'm only keeping if it hits speed, this max roll. And it does, so we'll keep it. And then this one, I really want crit rate. Just because having a good attack percent with crit rate on it is huge. Nice. 19% crit rate. It could have been more, but we'll take it for now. Not bad at all. And we got a couple more, and then we'll go ahead and summon and call it a short video. Because like I said, guys, uh, we could actually use that. Even though it doesn't have speed, it's got good tank stats on it. If it goes, if it does just dodge as flat HP, we'll keep it. But like I said, it's going to be just a short one because we don't have too, too much to cover until we get our R5 team up and running, which is pretty soon. Uh, it went one HP, one defense. It could go one more. And we could use this like on Konamiya. It goes flat. So we'll sell. I'm not really, it went low roll, so I'm not really excited about it. Uh, can we craft any rage runes? We can craft a couple. No six stars, one six star. Speed, uh, maybe. I like attack on slot two for rage though. Very rarely do I want speed. Unless it goes like double cr or triple crit damage or double crit damage one crit rate. Yeah, it's low rolls though. We'll plus nine it and go open our summons 
Uh, I did want to show this as well. We've done a little bit of the homunculus. We're going to do uh, this one down here. The pushback decreases attack bar by 30% with a 60% chance. And that's attacks three times. So we're eventually going to build the homunculus, but that's not really my priority right now. Our TOA hard team is pretty okay for the time being. As you guys can see, we cleared normal and hard already. And then we're still at 174 crystals. This could hit speed. Oh, this roll, flat HP, I don't even want it. This one, accuracy. It still can go 16 speed and we can use it. That's why I plus 6 runes with speed on it. Because a double roll speed's not terrible. But a double min roll is bad. So let's go ahead and open our scrolls now. Hoping for Wind Anubis, Fire Magic Knight, Cocky Skill Ups, Jalin Skill Ups. Just a Lightning. Grim Reaper, I'll take. We can start skilling up our Dark Grim Reaper or Water Grim Reaper. Alright, Light Dark. Oh, I knew we were going to hit Lightning. We didn't hit a single Lightning from anything else. We get a Poison Master. What does he do? Tax all enemies three times, each having a 50% chance to block beneficial effects to be granted on them for two turns. Also destroys the enemy's max HP by 50% of the damage dealt. Tax the enemy and removes all beneficial effects granted on the target and then continuous damage and then stun. Could be interesting. And then our all attribute light or legendary. We get the wind string master who's not a terrible unit I think. Damage you receive will decrease by 30% while playing the song, so you're just doing um, reduced damage. Plays a song that decreases the HP of the enemy that gets a turn by 5% each and decreases attack power, so pretty cool. You become immune to uh, inability effects. So that's, she's not terrible, but we're not going to build her anytime soon. She's more of a PvP unit. But I knew we were going to get lightning from the light dark. I had a feeling. If you guys were curious, this is how our monster box is looking. Got a bunch of cool things. We don't have the fire magic night, right? I'm not tripping. Yeah. Not in here either. We have the wind one right here. Yeah, that's our storage though. And then I don't think I covered this in the last video, but we have glory towers. This is how our glory towers are looking. Crit damage is max, as you guys can see here. And then I'm working highly, highly on the speed totem right now. Once we get this close to 15, I'll start going 15 to Ancient Sword and go 1 and 1, I think. Just so we can get some more damage output. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and be it for this one. I know it was another short video, but... I like I said, we are just farming a ton of giants right now as much as we can with the crystals we have and then doing a bunch of arena. This is the same arena offense team that we've been using. It's working pretty well. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to rush this Sunday and see how far we can get in the arena just with this team. But as you can see, Cocky's doing crazy, crazy amount of damage. I know that was against the rival, so we'll go ahead and show one more. That's easy. We'll show it against this team. We're not going to land defense break on the wind unit though. The dragon. The Jameer. Nope. Or cocky. But that's how the team works. And then we can go ahead and usually finish it off. Unless we get AoE defense broken killed like that. I can't believe we didn't land defense break on Cocky. Wow, we lost this one. How what kind of how much accuracy is on her? 86. Not good enough. You need 100 and you need skill ups, but this rune could be maxed, so that's my fault. I'll go ahead and max this rune off camera since we have so much mana. Let's try this team one more time. Should defense break everyone but Jameer. There it goes. 
That's how the team's supposed to work. We can finish him off. We missed the strip. We can defense break him now. I need to kill this guy though, because that thing couldn't actually do big damage. And that's how the team works. So nothing really changed in Arena. We're going to keep using this team and climb with it. But anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and be it for this one. Um, like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to try to be more active in the Discord. So if you guys have any questions for me in there, you know, drop them in the questions for Lil Bud. And I will try to answer them as much as I can. But other than that, and then I apologize about the individual help that you guys are requesting sometimes and i sorry i can't get to all of you i try to get to as many as i can but unfortunately i can't get to every single one of you so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe join the discord if you're new join the twitch we will be live streaming hopefully tomorrow uh this video is coming out as soon as well i'm recording this as soon as it comes out so yeah it's gonna be a late one for you guys but anyways, thank you so much for watching again. Like and subscribe again. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace.